There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is by Nova Spring and developed by Millennium Interactive. Prologue 1879. Lord, help me. I am dying. Oh, it can't be long now. Oh dear. A pack of ravenous wolves appear to be uh, tearing him to pieces. Werewolves, by the looks of things. And there doesn't appear to be any music. Huh. That's different. Oh, there we go. Silver Load, a Cygnos interactive drama by Jason Wilson. Oh, listen to that. That's terrific. Okay. So, are we the guy by the fire or are we somewhere else? Let's, uh, let's click the guy by the fire. Please. Go after my son. I'll pay you with my life if only to see his face again. So we got ourselves a western here, partner. And I will not use that accent again. For those who don't know, I'm a big fan of westerns. Ask about the town. Me and my son went into that town. Weird name of Silverload. We went there to buy supplies and maybe catch up on what's been going on. The folk there were very unfriendly. The place felt as cold as a graveyard. As we left that unholy place, I swear that storm followed us. As we left, all oh, right, okay, so. Fierce thing it was. I thought we were gonna be swallowed up by the sand. I thought I saw shapes moving in the storm, but I knew nothing could survive in all that choking dust. I know better now. Okay, what about... Ah, oh, so the, the, uh, it's contextually sensitive in the conversation screen as well. So, if we hover over, we can ask about things. We've Tell me about your travels. We've been now for about a year. We were heading for the frontier, mister. We want a better way of life in God's new country. Me, my dear departed wife, and our son Ben have traveled with the Catlins all of this time. Some six months ago, my wife was bitten by a snake and died shortly afterwards. Oh dear. I almost couldn't go on without my Mary. But the Catlins have helped me all of this time. So, it's, he's, he's been a member of a wagon train, presumably. Uh, okay. John and Joanne Catlin. Ah. Joanne has been like a surrogate mother to Ben since the death of my Mary. She's a good woman, but I don't think she approves of your help, mister. Well, I'm sorry that she doesn't approve. Um, so it's it's a wee bit finickety, the, uh, the contextually sensitive. It's a bit pixel hunty, as you can see here. But also when the speech bubble pops up in true RPG style fashion, it'll give you the option to follow up the conversation with more stuff. So let's Me just and my son went ask about the town again. Weird name of Silverload. Okay. We went there to buy supplies and, and there doesn't appear to be a way to skip it. On. The folk there were very unfriendly. Oh dear. The place felt as cold as a graveyard. As we left that Come on now. Place, I swear Come on partner. Stopped. You've told me all this and it exited out. <laughs> let's try that again. So, what about the raid? Last night when they came screaming from that storm, they were like devils from hell itself. It was as if they'd come just for the children. John managed to get a shot at one of the raiders, but he just picked himself up even though he had a hole through his chest. John took a bullet in return and now lies wounded in his wagon. The devils took Ben and there was nothing we could do. They fled into the storm howling like animals. 
I'd go after them myself, but I dare not leave the others here unprotected. Devils. Devils. So, there's nothing to add about that. Um, so, what's this? Oh, that's our inventory, I believe. And that's a map. And a compass of some sort. And hitting escape automatically exits the game. Okay, we're back in for the third time <laughs> into Silverload. Uh, what's in this wagon? You get away from here! The others might think that you will help us, but I reckon you're just desert trash! Okay, that's not particularly How nice. How dare you come in here? Don't you think we've suffered enough without you pretending that you will help us? Hush now, Joanne. This stranger's all the help we have right now, and it, in my opinion, I believe that he will help us. I, I can try. Uh, let's ask about the raid. Those devils came out of that storm and stole little Ben from us. I tried my best to protect the children. I put a full load of lead into one of those raiders, and he just got right up again. Took a bullet myself. Lucky it missed anything vital. I tell you, mister, those creatures put the fear of God into all of us. The horses went wild, too. They vanished as swiftly as they arrived into that storm. Okay. Into that storm. What if I hit storm? If you're going to make it through that storm, you'll need this. This compass has brought me luck during my travels, and, well, maybe it'll do the same for you. Thank you. I, I, will, I will take that. Oh, look, you can interact. And uh, stick that in the inventory with a right click. And then, uh, uh oh, I'm having the same problems as before. So this is a map. But how do you exit the map? Right, it's somewhere near the bottom. Okay, now I exit the inventory. But here's the important question we have to ask Why do you dislike me, We've Missy? Seen your type before, mister. Bounty hunters working their trade from human misery. What's your story? How many people have sold their souls to you? How many lives have you taken in return for a handful of coins? Well, the answer is about 1,200, and I'm a DOS games reviewer, not a bounty hunter. So I'll, I'll, ju I'll just be on my way, I think. Uh, how do I exit out of here? The. The immediate problem here with this first-person narrative heavy adventure game is I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm now at a random bit of wood and I'm back in the inventory. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so we're at the edges of the screen. Do we have to ask everything or can we just leave, I wonder? Aha, the foot. Godspeed go with you, stranger. Yep, and see ya. And the devil takes a liar's soul. Okay, so uh, they're not very fond of me. Let's, uh, let's leave. Goodbye. See ya. Good luck. Toodle pip. Oh, look, there's an animation of me getting out of there. Okay, good luck, I guess. They're still waving at me. This is awkward. This sand is hurting my eyes. This is where I die, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Just, just keep walking, man. That is not a positive sound. See you in hell. And it quit out on me. So what is Silverload? Uh, it's a first person narrative heavy adventure game set in the West with supernatural elements. And that in itself should really appeal to me. You know, that, that should be right up my, uh, right up my wagon train, so to speak. But it feels like a port. The interface is clunky, unintuitive, and 
it's one of those in the Sierra style where if you don't do the right thing, it will mercilessly kill you. Fans of adventure games in the first person might get a kick out of this. They might enjoy it. But it is a bit cumbersome and the sound quality isn't great. And there was no background ambience or music or anything, which was very disappointing. I was expecting that for a game of its age, you know. A missed opportunity, I think, with Silverload, because I feel like there could be a good sort of supernatural mystery slash adventure in here. You just have to fight the controls to find it. And if you like me venturing out into the Old West, I do it every so often. Feel free to check out all the other videos on the channel, and if you like what you see, you can subscribe. And if you're really wanting to be my partner, then you can be my patron. And we can go out to the bars, go gunslinging places, and have a merry old time like these partners here. Look at them. What a rootin' tootin' bunch. Well, until next time.